Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to make a St. Patrick's Day gnome. And I'm actually giving this gnome some really long legs. So I'm taking two thin pieces of wood here. I'm gonna tie it off with some white wax floral tape and give it some stripes with some orange raffia that I have so that they look like little striped socks on his legs. And next I'm going to add a spacer in between the legs just so that they're not butted up right against each other. And you can actually tell that there's two separate legs. And for the head and the body, I have a circle made out of cloth. I'm gonna poke two little holes in there and just push the legs on through. That way I know that the legs and the uh, top of the gnome are connected well. So just work them right on through and once I have them pulled tight, I'm going to fill up the circle with some stuffing. Uh, you can make it as big or as small as you want. Um, I didn't realize that there's two little holes in the, in the cloth already, so we'll just turn them around to the back. And I'll gather everything up at the top there nice and tight. And once I have it all together, I will tie it off with a rubber band. Once I got everything all together, I noticed that the head was a little floppy on the legs. So I did add some hot glue, just kind of gooped it all along the bottom there to make it a little bit more stiff. And now for the base, I'm going to have uh, my St. Patrick's Day gnome standing in his pot of gold. So the pot itself is just a black circle. I did add a small Ziploc bag of sand in there to weigh it down. That way it stays... Uh, stays firm on the ground it's not so top heavy add some stuffing and i gather it up just like i did the head but i'm going to tie it off with a chenille stem instead of a rubber band so i have a little bit more control over how tight i tie it the gnome is going to be wearing a top hat so i have this green felt and i measured the radius or the diameter of uh, the gnome's head there and just cut a rectangle and then glued it together to make a cylinder for the top of the hat. Just going to glue that right to a, a square about the size of the circle. I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I cut it down. And for the rim, I just kind of eyeball uh, how big the circle should be around the top hat there. And then I'll trim it up and trim up the uh, top to the top circle as well. I do want the top hat to kind of, you know, gather over that knot uh, in the gnome's head and, and kind of hide my mechanics. So I need it hollow so I can pull it a little further down onto the gnome's head. So I have to hollow out that bigger circle and I'll just hot glue it right onto the rim of the hat there. And to make it a little bit more festive, I have some orange felt that has glitter on one side. I'm going to cut off a strip there and just run it along the rim of the hat. Just adding some hot glue, make, being careful to have the glittery side out so it's nice and sparkly. Now that I've got the hat, I just want to go ahead and attach it to the gnome's head with some more hot glue. And I'll squeeze it right on there. Now I found some of this uh, polyester fluff. Actually, I think it did say fluff on it. Uh, I found it at Hobby Lobby on clearance for like 40 cents or something. I figured there's got to be something I can do with this. So I'm going to make this the beard of the gnome. And I had, I, I'm going to be honest, I had a little bit too much fun with his beard. But, you know, it, crafting is fun, so <laughs> got to have a good time. So I wadded up a few strips of that, trimmed it up, glued it in, uh, styled it a little bit. <laughs> And, of course, every gnome has to have a nose. So I take my wooden bead there and just glue it right on. Now that I've got the gnome body and, and hat and base, 
can really start to decorate it. So I'm going to tie off the pot of gold with a gold ribbon. And I'm going to tuck in some tufts of, um, of gold netting so it's sparkly like his hat. You can add, you know, a bunch of flowers, gold coins, um, anything you want. And I suppose you could also do this without the long legs too, but it's kind of fun to make a, a gnome a little bit different than, than what we usually see. I did add a couple of little flowers to his hat just to brighten it up. And once that's all set, got a gnome. Thank you so much for watching.